Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. And I'm coming on with a message for you today. And I wanna begin by saying, first of all, I'm sorry about this light. I can't get rid of this light no matter what I do, but that's not a bad thing. Because the light is just, um, it's just representing to us that through all of the darkness and all of the chaos, there is going to be light shining through keep looking for the light wherever you can say it. So today's message is quite simple. And my question to you is through the last six months, have you taken the time to do some inner work, to go within and see what's going on inside your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body? This was the opportunity to tap in, to tune in, to lean in to things that maybe were no longer serving you, to take notice and take inventory of why and what was going on. As you notice, I am sure the more and more the darkness is showing up in your personal life and in the globe, in the global world, what you see is more and more people are being triggered. Remember that triggers, other people's triggers are not your responsibility. Only your work and only your understandings are your responsibility. And you'll notice no matter what is said or what is done, people are getting more and more triggered. So I want you to think about that for yourself and for your own personal life at this time? Where are you being triggered? How many people are so concerned about wearing masks? Are those the same people that taking the time to tap in and taking the time to pray and taking the time to meditate? We are so hyper-focused as humans on this earth at this time at the little things at the little things that aren't even our control, that we're not taking the time to do the inner work. And if the inner work is not done, more people are gonna be triggered, more darkness is gonna be rising up to the surface. I was just listening to something, and by no means is this political, but was listening to something with regards to the democratic debate or whatever went on with the Democrats. And what the person was saying, which really caught my attention was that, they were speaking in such a low negative energy. They were speaking with blame. They were speaking with hate. And what I want you to understand, no matter what party you are for, if you are, if you're not, I really don't care. What I want you to take notice of is the bigger picture. The bigger picture to the fact that there is so much hate going on in our country right now. And many people are triggered which is causing that hate, but if you ask them what they hate, they really don't have an answer. And that's the bigger picture. Where is this hate? Where is this darkness? Where are these triggers coming from? It's years and years and years of programming. And this is our opportunity to really tap into who you really are to really figure out in your own authentic way what you stand for, what you believe in, what you're passionate about, what is right for you is not right for everybody. And that is okay because this is not about right and this is not about wrong. This is about figuring out each and every, for each and every one of us what is right for you and tapping into that and honoring that and then honoring everyone around you, even if you're not on the same page, even if you're not in alignment. And the point of me bringing up the political stuff is if our politicians aren't doing this work and they're the ones running the country, that's a big problem. So maybe if you're watching this, you can commit to yourself because the more of us that shine this light, look at this. This is not a mistake that there's a light in this message. The more of us that can do our own personal inner work 
And I always say this, it could be this much, but it's this much more than you did yesterday. And it's this much more that's going to help to shed light on the world, less judgment or no judgment if you could get to that space. Be the witness. Look at the grand, bigger picture. You don't have to stop looking at the little, small details. We're not even in charge of the details. God is in charge. Are you praying to God? Look in where I live today. We had a tornado warning out of nowhere. Who We've never had that ever. But we had that today. I never watched TV. I turned the TV on and there it was on the screen. And it just continues to show me the darkness of the energetic darkness that is continuing to show up on this planet. Things are coming up that have never come up before. I invite you today to really tap in and do the inner work that needs to be done. Take the time to commit to yourself. You're on this earth. You came onto this earth. You chose to be on this earth during this time for a reason. So it, you don't have to be someone standing on a stage or a big platform. You could do it in your own circle, but do the work, do the inner work because it's gonna help everybody. I hope that this message served you. And before I complete it, I wanna just share because I'm hearing this. Call in Archangel Michael for strength, courage, and protection. Call in Archangel Raphael to help you through the healing. Call Archangel Uriel to stand with you and help you because he's the one who carries the light through the darkness. He's the light of God. Call upon Archangel Gabriel to help you to communicate in a way in which it will be received. You, everything you say or anything you say may not be received by everybody. It may fall on deaf ears, but if you can plant the seed for one person, you're helping one person, then you did you served. You were the servant of God. And that's the way you need to look at things when you speak your truth. When you're speaking on a topic, just consider, is this serving others? Because if it is, I'm, I'm helping with what's going on. And it's part of the solution. Continue to remember when you speak that you don't want to be part of the problem. You don't want to add hate. You don't want to add to the darkness that is already in our earth. We can't stop it, but we can start to shine light on it. So I hope that this helped you today and I wish you a very great day. Bye-bye.